I forgot the intro. <laughs> I, I sorry. I for I genuinely forgot the intro. It's been so long since we've done one of these. You forgot the intro to our flagship show. <laughs> A show that you host, might I add? I wrote the intro myself. You, you wrote you so you fucking forgot. I mean, oh my we God. have been dealing with a lot of shit going on in life. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello, patrons, and welcome back to Night Parade, Dude. a show where we talk about anime. A lot more yeah. now, because of everything that's been going on. Hey, ain't that the truth. Yeah, telling me. Shit's been wild here. Oh my goodness. How long has it been since we've recorded one of these? Um, well, you and me haven't recorded one since Rock Ago. I don't know if you and Fenris have done one since then. No. Okay, no. so it's probably been like a month and a half, give or take. Wow. What the hell? It's only been a month and a half? Actually, wait, wait, wait. When, when... When was the uh, uh, Rock Ago episode uploaded? How long has that been on the channel for? Oh, shit. Whenever that one dropped. That was like three months ago? Three yeah, months three ago? Months. So it was probably like two or three weeks before that. Wow. So it's been you almost four months, months, give or take, yeah. I mean, with all this stuff going on, a hiatus makes sense. It makes sense, but it also doesn't because we're spending so much more time inside. Yeah. But the massive civil. <clears throat> yes, the shit going down. Well, we also have to survive outside of YouTube, so. Yeah, I got a job. Yeah, that is true, you did. Bunch of stuff's going on now. I had finals, and then it hit the fan. And I know it's been a while since we've done one of these, but that's just sort of that hashtag YouTube life. <laughs> Yeah, it but happens. I've got so many on the backlog that I could have just uploaded. Not yeah. just uploaded, edited and upload, but... Well... <sighs> oh god, yeah, dude. Totally. So that's on me. Oh, we'll, we'll get it all squared away and get caught back up, so... Oh, Did we start intro thing or whatever? Oh yeah, we're talking. Yeah. Oh fuck, really? Yeah, yeah. we're live. Well, not live, but you get my oh, meaning. I know. We're not live! Yet. Oh, I just thought we did the intro already. So, oh my goodness, we got so off track there. I'm Fat Man. I'm Fenrir. I'm Kruger. And I guess we're talking about Carol and Tuesday this week. Yes. Oh my god, you forgot the intro and now you don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> Man, we haven't talked in a I'm while. trying real hard here. <laughs> We haven't talked in a while. It, it happens, dude. Uh, oh, I love my job. <laughs> this happens. With all the shit going down. Yeah. We got this going. All about. right. We're here now. Let's not talk about the shit. Let's talk about the show. Unless that shit becomes relevant to the show. God, I miss this. I do too, dude. This feels good to be back. It does. But man. Carol and Tuesday. I, I agree with you guys that it feels good to be back, but at the same time, we need a new happy hour episode. <laughs> uh, I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. <laughs> so, Carol and Tuesday, I do believe you are the one that recommended this, Fenris? It is. It's a Netflix original anime. Directed by Shinichiro Watanabe. Why does that name sound familiar? Cowboy Bebop. Oh, oh Samurai right. Champloo. Right, 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 right. Stupid. Kid yep. from the okay. slow. They right, both right. use the long monetary system. Oh, shit. I kind of forgot about that. I forgot they both use the longs. Actually, now that I think about it, I was, I was talking to you guys other times about uh, the connection to Cowboy Bebop, and I was wondering where this would fit in the timeline. So oh, nice. um, I think this is quite a while before Cow Cowboy Bebop. I would imagine it is too. 
because yeah. this is I I think Earth was a fucking wasteland in Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, it's not in this anime, so <laughs> and is this is only a wasteland. Yeah, but this is also just fifty years after the colonization of Mars. Okay, yeah, then this is yeah. way before Cowboy Bebop. Because <laughs> wasn't Mars already colonized in Cowboy Bebop? If I, I remember correctly. So, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, very much so. But I haven't really seen much Bebop. I haven't seen Bebop in forever, so... Alright, so we're gonna do that this year. Yeah. Or, or both my anime family and license I haven't seen Bebop. Carolyn Tuesday. Uh, if you haven't picked up on it yet, this takes place on Mars. Two young aspiring artists try to make it on Mars. It's really wholesome shit. In a world where 99% of the music is generated by AI, these two young musicians are trying to make it big. You know, just right up front. Yeah? As an aspiring musician and writer myself, the fact that 90% of all music in this universe is made by AI makes me fucking weep. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, it's easy to root for the main characters at that point. Yeah. I mean, I'm more a graphic designer than I am, like, literally anything else. Mm hmm But, yeah. Carol and Tuesday are absolute delights of main characters. All oh, the characters. All right. No, no, go ahead. One is the daughter of a politician, and the other is an orphan from Earth. Mm -hmm. They meet on Mars and begin their musical journey together. Hell yeah. And holy shit, they made it far in just, like, their first year. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Although, it wasn't just them. They had a lot of help. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they... Meeting Gus, who is their manager, running into him was probably <laughs> the luckiest thing to happen to them. <laughs> oh, my God. I like Gus. Well, he Gus stuck his face crazy. in their door. <laughs> <laughs> Gus, Gus becomes their manager. Images from the show. Gus just becomes their manager by finding their apartment. <laughs> like he, he literally has his friend triangulate where they are on the planet and, and he which just city. Hmm. And he just barges in. And then he's like, y'all need managers. <laughs> I want to be your manager. <laughs> uh, Gus is fantastic. Gus mm -hmm. is fantastic. I would probably say he's my favorite character. He's up there with one of my favorite characters. Yeah, well, we'll get to my favorite character. Oh, I already know who your favorite character is. Ooh. All right. I already know. Cool. I'm not going to say. Just say it. Character. No, I'm not going to say. Do it. Or, well, else I'll know, or else I'll know you're lying. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Erdogan, isn't it? <laughs> close. But no. Close? How am I close? Is it Roddy? Nope. And it's not... Who the hell else could it be? Anyways, we should start talking about some of these characters we're naming off. Yes, well. No, to hell with the podcast. This is going to bug me. Your pain brings me joy. God damn you, fat man. We need to do this more. Um, too goddamn fun. It's why we do this in the first place, right? Yes. I love talking about this shit. Same, dude. Well, thanks. Now you drove me insane. I... <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there, or we'll forget, <laughs> and it'll bug you forever. Oh, well, then I quit. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love Erdogan, too, because, like, when you first meet him, it's like, hey, let's introduce the mate. Our main girls to Erdogan, and then you get there, and he's just like, 
with a bunch of chicks in a swimming pool and you think and you think these chicks are gonna get casting couch <laughs> he comes in and just fucking disrobes in front of them from the perspective behind his robe so you think he's completely naked <laughs> I, as one thing I love about this I love the framing <laughs> it's so cool at times and so funny as well I mean I love the framing for a lot of this but, but he just is in like a speedo yeah, in the speedo, and he just starts doing push-ups or something. Yeah. <laughs> He's such a douche. Is such a douche. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love Erdogan. He's such a douche. <laughs> oh. Well. No, I think I figured it out now, but no, continue. Okay. So, like, why is there more of this show? Why isn't there more? Why is there more? No, why isn't there? Because, because <laughs> everything good must come to an end until it becomes bad. Yo, when we got that post credits image, I got so fucking excited and then immediately so pissed off. <laughs> I, I, I actually, uh, I've never heard you so mad. Oh my god. <laughs> guys, I wound up watching it separately from y'all towards the end due to like scheduling error. Yeah. But mm. like I saw the ending and was just like neat. Also doubly neat. I like that kind of ending. It was interesting. I haven't seen that before. But god Damn it! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Will be continued. In your fucking dreams. In your imagination. I thought god it was like to be continued in your dreams. <laughs> oh, so angry. I think you screamed at the TV too, Kruger. I did not. You didn't? No. They, sung, they sung Martian, We Are the World. Things I, I, got better. I, 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 said, I said it was bullshit, but I didn't scream at the TV. Because uh, if I would have screamed at the TV, I probably would have deafened you with my mic. Guys, I watched this on my own while playing a video game. <laughs> Whose phone is that this time? That is mine, sorry. No problem, dude. So. Yeah. Hmm. That man. Oh shit. Sorry. Got distracted trying to turn off my phone. I just realized the screen has been on for like the past 20 minutes straight. <laughs> oh. All right, everybody. Bad. All right, everybody. So, squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of that fucking, squirrel. That fucking meme. Oh, La the, laying in the, the hospital butterfly. bed. <laughs> I think I know what meme you're talking about. How tall are you? Yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Y'all don't even know my favorite Carol in Tuesday character. No. I wouldn't, I'm not even gonna try to guess. <laughs> <laughs> Why, is it because you know I have weird taste and shit? No, it's because outside of the main characters, I don't really remember. Oh, that's fair, that's like, fair. Like, is it fair. Angela? No. Oh. Well, I'm out of guesses. <laughs> Y'all give up easy. I almost wanted it to be the Mermaid Sisters. I oh my god, them. I forgot about the Mermaid Sisters! Bro, Mars's Finest was my favorite, second favorite arc in the whole thing. Because of all the fun and wild shit you saw. <laughs> like the mermaid sisters, those elderly metal people. Yeah. Oh yeah, the fire bros. Yes. The <laughs> person who was crazy and interested in Tuesday. Mm, oh, the crazy. Yeah. What the hell is her name again? The crazy chick. Sybil or something. S Sybil was it? Sybil. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Okay. It seems she only lasted a little while. 
I, I totally thought she was going to appear in more than one episode. I mean, she showed up in the final half. But then again, everyone and their nan showed up for the ending. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> and it was so cheesy. I loved it. I think the Mermaid Sisters should have won that singing competition. I mean, they are a mood, but I'm going to disagree with you, Chi. Carol and Tuesday are best girls. Okay, maybe not one, but I think they should have gotten further than they did. Yeah, me too. Because that was fucking funny. <laughs> they're singing in this don't. perfect harmony, and their lyrics... Fat Man. Fat Man. Yeah. Don't spoil it for them. It's the funniest thing in the show. Okay. <laughs> don't spoil it for them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just... Oh, I've been wanting to talk about this for forever. If you guys want... If if everybody listening to this right now wants to see what we're talking about, go to YouTube and type in Mermaid Sisters Carolyn Tuesday, and there you go. I'll yeah. know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> it's your goddamn art. And my theme song. It's my fucking theme song for life. Alright, so let's let's start at the beginning, if we could. Yes. Let's, we, we've gotten very fucking distracted. Yes. Well, no, yeah, we, we have to establish the characters before we talk about the story. Well, yeah. Or we can talk about the characters as we're going through the story. Well, that's Hell one way of doing it, I guess. I mean, I, I like all of the ways of doing it. I mean, we already started talking about Erdogan and his douchey ways. So, we've got Carol, uh, an orphan from Earth, living in the Fucking Martian slum. Yeah, the uh, the slums of Alba City. And uh, Tuesday, the runaway daughter of a politician who is running for president of Mars. <laughs> president of Mars. Yes. Pre- president of a whole planet. <sighs> who look, uh, 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 who um is very reminiscent of another president at times. Dude. As the first time we saw her on screen and she was talking about deporting immigrants, I was like, okay, it's just female Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a little more competent. Anyways. We're gonna build a dome over Mars. It's gonna be the best dome. Great dome. <laughs> <laughs> Mars is gonna have this best day. And we're gonna kick out all the Earthlings. We're gonna make Mars great again. <laughs> we're gonna make Mars great again. <laughs> you, know, oh you know what I've noticed about myself? Every time I try to do a Donald Trump impression, it just turns into Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. You, you swap out one fucking president for another? Well, they're not, they're not too dissimilar. <laughs> But we won't go into politics. <laughs> so, Carol yeah. and Tuesday meet on a bridge in Alba City. Uh, Carol's playing her, uh, playing her piano, humming a bit, and Tuesday just stops in front of her, teary-eyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tuesday cries a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... But she's the naive one, right? Yeah, she's she the innocent right. one. She's the you know she's she's probably not used to. <laughs> they get stopped by the cops and they run away and hang out at Carol's house for a few days and they get to know each other and it's cute and wholesome. I want them to be like their first day together. They write a song. Yeah, they are sweeties and I love them. Yeah, I mean they're <sighs> they're. <sighs> How do I put this? <laughs> Their friendship is written in such a way, right? It doesn't feel like forced. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, realistically speaking, I don't think anybody in reality would become friends quite that quickly, but. I mean, we had 24 episodes. To yeah, do we, this. yeah that, it's not a lot of time. <laughs> so. I've become friends with people almost that quickly. Well, no, I mean, like, the, the how close they became so oh. quick. Yeah, like, yeah. 
Like, but... Give me a night and a voice chat and I can probably make it happen. <laughs> Friend quest. <laughs> Friend quest 2020. Again, I, I fuck it. The later at night it gets, the more I fucking spill my guts to people, dudes. Yeah. It's a thing. Documented fact with me. It's just like, they had 24 episodes to flesh out this friendship. And they became very close, like, almost immediately. But, it, again, it doesn't feel forced. It doesn't feel contrived. It, doesn't, like, it, it, it just happens naturally. So You get to see it wax and wane throughout the course. Of the yeah. Show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like all friendships do. Yeah. They write their song. They decide they want to hear it played on a better piano. So Carol, she knows this guy, security guard at a theater. The or what, what was it? The uh, Immigrants Memorial Theater? Yeah. Uh, I do not remember the name of the theater. So they go there. They kind of blow past the security guards and have this guerrilla performance. And Roddy, who was there with our boy Erdogan, uh, setting up for a performance there, uh, happens to see them and record them. Roddy does. And uploads it to the internet. And the video goes viral. Yeah, like fucking instant Instagram hit. Wherever. Well, I think Instagram. Yeah. So we can figure out how many views it takes for a video to go viral on YouTube nowadays. Yeah. But yeah. I wonder how many you would need that far into the future. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. But that's got to be a lot. So. So it uploads, goes viral. We meet Gus at a bar in town that we'll see many more times throughout the show. Mm -hmm. And he's just this awful, drunken old man. Hey. (laughs) He hates all kinds of music. He hates AI made music. Specifically. He's a drummer. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Kind of forgot about that. And he used to be skinny. Yeah, he was a drummer in a band, and he used to be about 200 pounds lighter, (laughs) give or take. (laughs) So. Maybe uh, pull back on the drinking. Yeah. Yeah. God, I am losing my train of thought. Well, don't do that. Thank you, Kruger. You're welcome, Fat Man. Glad I could help. (laughs) Guess here's their uh, song on someone's phone. Thinks it's AI made, starts, uh, starts a fight over it. But then uh, he sits and listens to it, I guess, needed to find them. I guess he recognized the talent in them. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, he, he recognizes the talent in them, oh, but yeah. at the same time, he knows that they still need to work on it. They, it's, it's, like, it's like if you watch Avatar, and Katara's is like, I know his airbending skills are great. He's got a long way to master all four elements. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, but yeah. with music. He sees them, oh. hears something in it, and he doesn't recognize them, so he has to find them. He wants to be their man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we talked about this already. Yeah. Fat, man. Yeah. I, uh, I know we haven't gotten to this part yet, but I already I, I figured out who your favorite character is. Oh, yeah? It's Piotr, isn't it? No, it's their producer. <laughs> yep. We'll get there. The loudmouth... Yeah. <laughs> Do you want Gus the loudmouth washed up music producer? No, no, no. We'll get there. <laughs> oh, Roddy. Nope, nope, we'll get there. <laughs> oh. Stop saying names. We'll get there. Fine. I just want it to be right. Okay. So, Gus gets to Carolyn Tuesday through Roddy, who does some research and found they left on their location when they posted to Instagram. Mm -hmm. So, the gang And then he barges into their fucking house and demands he be their manager. The gang's together and start going from here. Mm -hmm. That's when, I think it's not shortly after that we get introduced to Angela. The main right. I like Angela. Yeah. Who... Her manager and producer, well, I, I don't know if he's her manager, but her producer, a guy, Tao. Tao. Who makes AI-created music. <laughs> or he's made an AI that makes music. You know what I mean. 
And Tao is voiced by the same guy who voices Mikazuki Agus in Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. God, we keep calling back to that, don't we? Well, yeah, and we're probably going to keep doing that, because it was our first Happy Hour episode, so... <laughs> and I would imagine these voice actors are going to pop up in a lot of things. <laughs> so. yeah. English voice actor um, played Trudeau in Berserk, and some other fantastic characters, including, but not limited, to Narancia from JoJo's in the English dub. Hmm. Which I know is strange. So, Tao hates people. He, he just looks and sounds yeah. eternally disgusted. He, he hates people, he doesn't really do emotions, and uh, he's, like, experimenting with Angela's, like, vocal cords with his machine and whatnot, trying to mold her into this perfect singer. So, Tao does not care about Angela, he cares more about his AI music-creating computer. Tao fucking hates everything. Yes, he, 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 he... He's not a people person. Mood. Oh, which, that's an understatement. Oh, we have to talk about Angela's mother. Mother in parentheses. Yeah, in parentheses. Parentheses. Yes, yes. Ignore the parentheses. Yeah, she... Because I... I Angela's mother. I think they used to be a man. Yep. And then somehow no. and then somehow Mars screwed with their gender or something like that. Actually, yes, Fenris. There's a picture of Dahlia as a man. Yeah. And she is one of those parents that only cares about like the potential wealth and fame that could come with Angela being a superstar. A uh, previous child actor herself. She is now living through her daughter's success. Yeah, I forgot about the child actor thing. It is fucking weird to do. Yeah. 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 Unless it's Stranger Things, then it's fine. Oh, yeah. Brill moment. <laughs> and after that, I think Carol and Tuesday enter their first competition. Because they enter their first competition before they shoot their first music video, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Well... Or do they shoot the music video first? They tried the music video first. No. First, first okay. So. They tried to get sponsored by a big by DJ, Erdic. and they chose Erdogan right. because of Rodney's connection to him. Yes. They blow it hard with Erdogan. He's too much of a douchebag to listen to their music at all, so mm -hmm. Tuesday takes their sheet music and burns it in the middle of his living room and sets the alarm system, <laughs> sets the sprinkler system off, and is it after that they get the robot? Yes, their, their second yeah. attempt is to shoot a, shoot a viral music video. And it goes poorly. Oh yeah, because they're, they're using a, uh, a robot. Well, it's an AI-controlled robot that is their music video director. And he's and... a lazy uh, layabout, really. <laughs> he, yeah. They have him buy him beer. Because he needs biofuel. <laughs> and he's just laying on his ass all day, watching memes and drinking beer. <laughs> Dude, I forgot how much of an, a fucking otaku Rodney is. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, 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 absolutely. Rodney is my fucking... He has more Gundam models than I do. <laughs> when they're talking about ideas music video. Whenever it gets to Rodney, it's something about anime. We should make it anime! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You go through the mirror and it's anime. <laughs> it, like, it seems like every anime has to have one of those characters now. <laughs> it was just like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but with him, it's fine. Because, you know, it's not all he talks about, but it comes up quite often. Roddy's pretty cool. Yeah, he is. And the way he reacts to his, uh, well, it's not a Gundam model, but it, it, it's a Mecha model. And the way he reacts to, like, his models being touched or broken or whatever is exactly how I would. <laughs> I would be furious. <laughs> He's just like, fuck oh, you. <laughs> and then he gets upset. Well, yeah, he just, he gets super, super upset about it. And, and then the AI fucking breaks it. 
a back during the music video. And then they blew up Erdogan's car. <laughs> I mean, they bully Erdogan for basically all eternity, and I love it. <laughs> Why did Erdogan keep hiring Ronnie to- after that? <laughs> Probably. I, mean, I, I, I would imagine it's because there's no one better at that job. <laughs> yeah. Would be my no guess. One, but he blew up his car, dude. Yeah. It was a well, fucking car. Well, to be fair, Erdogan probably never should have lent it to them in the first place. Yeah, it was pretty irresponsible of him. Yeah. <laughs> Erdogan's irresponsible as shit. You all know that. Oh my god. <sighs> But, you know, he has enough money. He can afford a new one. Well, for now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> but, and it was after that that they enter into that big competition. Mars Brightest! <laughs> yep. Mar- and I believe that's where Carolyn Tuesday and Angela first compete with each other. Yeah. Right? I yeah, think okay. American Idol, but... No, it... Or... It's, like, no, America's the voice? Got Talent. No, or it's, the voice. it's not. It's not like the voice. It's like um. America's Got Talent. No, it's like um. It, it's a singing show. American Idol. No, no. Well, maybe it's more like Britain's Got Talent. But <laughs> I guess more than just singing. Britain's Got Talent. Well, that's true. Yeah, like this is this is an amalgamation of multiple competitions, I would believe. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a spoof on them. Yeah, but it's one of the greatest talent and show spoof. What is uh, okay? What the hell is that music competition show that Simon Cowell used to host before he did Britain's Got Talent? I don't know. American Idol. No, it wasn't American. Well, no, he did American Idol too, but there was another one he did. That I'm trying to remember the name of, and I can't. Oh, well, you've got a computer. Mm, I do. Wait, wasn't it? Was it X Factor? Is that what it's yeah, called? X Factor. I don't know shit. It's probably X Factor. Uh. Uh. Yes. Yes. I'm thinking of X Factor. Yes. Yes. It's a television music competition franchise created by British producer Simon Cowell. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. It's a lot like that. But. Here at Mars Brightest, we run into Sybil, the Mermaid Sisters, OG Bulldog, PewDiePie, uh, uh, Piotr, I mean. <laughs> Piotr. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like Piotr. Yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a sweetie. Yeah, he, he's, yeah, I didn't mind him. Like he, he starts sounding like a douche, but he's really just... Pretty talented dude, honestly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And he's surprisingly sensitive Yeah. for someone who comes off as a total dude. Yeah. He does. All he talks about is getting more followers. Mm-hmm. Oh, and this is where we meet, um, oh my god, that, that, uh, that guy who plays bass. Which group was that again? What's that? I don't think it was... That, that, uh, that, uh, that guy who plays bass. Like, he's really good at playing bass. Remember that character? He was like the leader of a band of musicians. They didn't really sing, they just played instruments. Or maybe they did sing, I don't remember. I don't know. It was a group of African-American males who all played instruments. One of them, played the front man, played bass, and he was very good at it. And then later on in the series, they become Carol and Tuesday's backing band on one of their songs. Uh, yeah, that is not from Mars Brightest. They weren't on Mars Brightest? I thought they were. No, that that's when, uh, that's the place where Carol and Tuesday went to fill in for Omega. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Right, 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 right. And there right, was right. the legendary producer, Toby, who got them a fucking band. Right, yeah, okay. Help All right, I can't help it anymore. Let's talk about Toby. Okay. I fucking love He's Toby. He's a music producer. <laughs> I knew he was your favorite character. Toby becomes their music producer later on. Mm -hmm. And he's just fucking crazy. The first time we meet him, he's coming down the alley. And he's just stuck this hatchet in a stone wall. Mm -hmm. The fucking psychopath. And he's from Earth. He's from Texas. And he's just got this garden of weed in his backyard. (laughs) And the only way to convince him to actually be Carol and Tuesday's producer was for Gus to tell him that there's plenty of alcohol at the studio. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's fucking hilarious. He's got the most foul mouth in this entire show. Oh, yeah. Carol and Tuesday start playing a song. They only play, like, three chords of it, and he's just like, shit, it's shit. <laughs> Next. Like, Next song. He's like, it's shit. That was but it was the best shit I heard all night. <laughs> that was shit, but it was the best shit I've heard all night. God, yeah. I love I love the fucking characters in this. When that when that first came up, I made the joke that if if uh, my wanting to be a musician, you know, pans out and I start producing stuff, that's gonna be me. Like at his age, that's me. Ah, uh, the dream. Uh, <laughs> so. Hmm? You're like, it's shit. It's like shit. the best shit I've heard all day. Yep. That would be me. <laughs> but they also, uh, they don't win Mars Brightest. I believe Angela does. Yeah, but they... They, yeah. they lose Mars Brightest because Tuesday gets kidnapped to go back home, and Carol doesn't do anything about it till she has a talking to with Gus. Imagine getting right. kidnapped by your mom. Yeah. I don't want to. <gasps> okay. I'm good. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, you know, vampire. Uh, I don't remember who my mother is. I'm just... oh. But man, Carol and Tuesday are some fucking shit. Like, good shit. Good shit. It's not shit. It's just good shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, as Toby would say. As Toby would say, that's the best shit he's seen all That's day. good shit. Like, like he, he has notoriously high standards to the point when they were actually trying to do an album with him. He forced them to redo a song 52 times. Mm -hmm. And it has to be one take. Yep. He is the Stanley Kubrick of music. Yes. Just context for that joke. Um, when he was directing The Shining, mm -hmm. Shelley Duvall played one of the main characters, and in order to elicit a genuine reaction out of her, he made her do a scene 127 times. Fucking... <laughs> He's funny. Yeah. Jesus. But... Anyway, and what happens after the Mars Brightest competition? Uh, that's when they went on to meet Toby, get their first song out. Army of Two, I think it was called. Yes, I believe. We'll, we'll name songs as we recall them, right? Because mm -hmm. some songs are freaking standouts. I want us to just all discuss our favorite fucking song once we're done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they get that song out, and it becomes a hit. There was a guy doing a trumpet cover of it on the street. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they get wildly fucking popular. Bunch of people come around claiming to be Carol's parents. Mm -hmm. And then she runs into her actual dad at the laundromat. And that's a... That's a feel herder. <laughs> Oof. That is a bit of a feel. So. <laughs> also, I'm just gonna throw this out there. They talk a lot about, like, actual musicians in the show. Oh, yeah. They do. Like, and, a walk. Yeah, and every episode is named after an actual song. Yeah. Oh, shit. So. I'm gonna look at the list of episodes. By artists all over the music spectrum, so. Yeah. Got the police. They mentioned You've Daft got... Punk in the show, Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Beyonce. I believe one of the episodes is named after a Rolling Stone song. Hmm. If I'm remembering that correctly. Don't stop believing. That's Journey. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a... I'm not going to remember all the names. There's 25 episodes, 24 episodes. But... Yeah, after getting fucking picked up by Toby, the two get invited to a fucking... M musician who's like notoriously right solitary right. right Desmond what is Desmond thank you thank you he sings for a little bit talks to the girls for a bit and then immediately dies yeah well he doesn't die he died yeah you're... but then he comes back and then just yeah he died <laughs> and then he came back in the last episode 
I, I thought he was just in a coma. Yeah, not gonna lie, is my favorite fucking character. Pretty sure the robot said he was dead. Desmond is a fucking icon, guys. Don't at me. Desmond he... is me, but not me. Music gives me he... fucking chills, dude. He, he, yeah. is, he, he is essentially... Prince. No, not Prince. Um... Oh, my music cred has just gone through the floor. Um, <laughs> Come on! David Bowie. Yeah. There we go. They're oh. David Bowie in one person. Yeah, essentially, yeah. <laughs> and they're beautiful. <laughs> Decent representation of certain thing, but I digress. Yes. Yeah. I digress. And he has that just... And he has a piano f- voice. He has a fucking massive piano. Just massive. Yeah, gorgeous voice. Yeah, they got a lot of talented singers on this show. So yeah, every car- everyone in this has really good fucking vocals, mm-hmm. and it's lovely. And then after they meet Desmond, they go write a song. Yeah, and they they don't. Do, they don't debut that in a competition. They debut that at a show at a local theater, I believe. And that just, that is what propelled that song, is what got them to number one on the charts, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And then after that, they just... <laughs> they just took off. Floated to the Grammy. I just mm-hmm. watched this, and I f- I, I'm having, I'm finding myself having trouble remembering a lot of it. I mean, it's fairly large gap. There's so many memorable moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But a lot of the downtime I don't remember. Well, that's because those memorable moments kind of overshadow the downtime parts. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, even even I'm struggling to remember a lot. So. The downtime? <laughs> yeah, because... It's, it's like they meet Desmond and then they're at the Grammys. Oh, wait, no, they tried to kick the immigrants out. Every single episode. It starts off, it goes for a little bit, and you're just like, well, well, you know, this is okay. You know, it's nothing mind-blowing. And then the anime just goes, here, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like, with the songs or whatever, it just, each time, they just produce better and better songs. Yeah, like, the, the whoever did the music on this anime... It's multiple artists. Well, then, they did a real good fucking job. <laughs> yeah. Like... Like, it starts, like, you get really wholesome with like, their beginning stuff. Yeah. Which sounds, like, nice, cozy, in, like, in stuff that. Yeah. It's, the stuff they write in the beginning is very, like, indie pop. Yeah. And then as the anime goes on, they become more experimental. Yeah. So. I'm not saying I don't like indie pop, because I do. But what? I'm also a basic bitch. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with indie pop. To say. But then again, I love most kinds of music. Like mm-hmm. 90 per- like most things. Like you can find me in like fucking black metal to indie pop. Well, well like, like my f- I'm talking like fucking mayhem and shit. <sighs> I-, I might just call it indie pop shit. <laughs> <laughs> like my uh like my father says, and I tend to agree with him on this. There's at least one song by every band that I like. Yeah. Mm, at least. So. <laughs> it uh, felt like in the beginning they were writing songs more naturally. Yes. They became a lot more comfortable with themselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, in, in the beginning they were writing songs more naturally. But, like, what do you mean? Like, how Tuesday uh, thought of lyrics immediately for the song that Carol was humming. Or that time they just wrote a song in the laundromat. Oh yeah, okay, I see what you're saying I mean, now. I like the laundromat song because it's like one of my. I find round myself humming that shit like. Round the oh. dance and laundry. I I thought we were talking about how they stopped second guessing themselves after a while because they became oh, yeah, more comfortable. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was a lot more spontaneous early on. Yeah. <laughs> but that happens when you're like. Not trying to be specific and hone it. Yeah. Like, as someone who fucking does art, it gets a lot less specific when you do shit out of the... 
Yeah, I mean, with my writing, I try to do stuff spontaneously, but I also second-guess myself all the time. Yeah. So. <laughs> but then again, I have found it kind of hard to do art the way things are currently. Mm-hmm. Because, whoo, fuck, it shit's going down. Yep. Especially where we are, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were kind of the epicenter of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Well, I heard the rioting stop. Yes, it did. Thankfully. It slowed down yeah. a little. Yes, it finally stopped where it started. <laughs> it slowed down. I don't think it's really stopped. But I digress. Well, I think we're starting to near the end here, because after that song goes number one... It's the Grammy. That's when they get invited. Yeah, that's when... Then they try and kick someone out. Then they ramp up, try and kick all the earthlings out. Mm-hmm. Oh. And they're like, oh shit, that's bad. The drama happened with uh, Angela. Yes. With the Black Knights. Angela's mom dies. And then her mom dies, yeah. And she basically leaves music for a while. She started doing yeah. drugs. Mm-hmm. Don't do drugs, kids. Unless they're really good. <laughs> yes. Disclaimer, Otaku Tavern does not actually endorse drug use. <laughs> <laughs> Except there may be some other kind that you are prescribed and reasonably take. But remember, kids, it is irresponsible to do drugs unless you sell them to me first. <laughs> 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 but, um, shit, I lost my train of thought now. Oh, Angela went to, not, oh, right. past the drugs, right? Yeah. yeah. The, um, we also have to talk about, um, Carol and Tuesday's backing band and how they meet them. Oh, yeah. They, they basically just walk up to him and go, you want to be our band? They're like, yeah. They're out exercising one day, and they're like, hey, yeah. we should get a backing band, but we don't have any money. Hey, look, there's a backing band. Do you want to be our backing band? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's like hilariously convenient. They went back to the Donia Fest for the second time. Or went, mm-hmm. went back for Hell the first yeah. time. Mm-hmm. First time they were booed off the stage. Second time they were actually welcomed with hype. And they just had a little mm-hmm. sit-down performance that was nice. Yep. They did some stuff just with sit down. Flora. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, wait. What's that? We also have to mention Gus's ex. Yeah. She becomes fairly important later on. She really? Mm-hmm. Is she? Yeah, she became... She was important to Angela coming back and... Was she? Realizing she... Yeah, don't you remember? No. Because Angela was such a huge fan of hers. Or no, not Angela. Sorry, not Angela. Carol? Carol. Carol. That she... Right, yeah. Carol convinced her to start singing again. No, that... Not the other way around. That wasn't Gus's ex. That was Flora. Yes, Flora? No, that was Gus's ex. No! She no, was that... his ex. They were dating. And oh, then okay. he was her manager. He was her manager. They were also dating. They were also dating. <laughs> uh, I... I was talking about Gus's ex wife. Oh, no. I Yeah, the... No, I wasn't talking about her. I was talking about the singer okay. that he was dating and that he managed, and then they broke up because she went to a major label. All right, my bad. Yeah, that's Wait, the one that I was Flora? talking about. Yeah, Flora. Dude, who is that? Yeah. Fuck, I don't know who that is. There are so many damn characters on this show. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of shit. Uh, that's been happening a lot in anime recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shows with too many fucking characters. Yeah. But I mean, this one doesn't... Want- overdo it, but it can get confusing. Not like we're hitting Bakuno and Durara all levels. Oof, da. Well, they, they don't least, even have like, that many characters, really. Yeah, at least we're not hitting, you know, My Hero Academia levels. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Nowadays. <laughs> well, Hero Aka has like a couple hundred episodes. Yep. Your mom dies, she starts doing drugs, and then after that, Carol and Tuesday have a fight, I believe. Yeah. Don't recall what about. Wasn't that around... Was that before Angela's mom died, or was that after? Because I thought it was after. I'm pretty sure that was before. Cause they... Yeah, was it? Before. Oh, that was before, there okay. Was a, they had a little bit of tension between them during Mars Brighta. Right, yeah, and then they and then they Tuesday broke up for a while. And then, yeah. And the kidnapping happened. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, but wasn't there? But they did end up having a huge fight, didn't they? I don't think so. I, I swear to God, I remember them both having a huge fight, and then like they stopped talking to each other for a little while, and then oh yeah, during our, around the time when the uh, the weather plant got destroyed. Yes, yes. Kind of skimmed over that on my second watching. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm remembering this and un. I'm remembering all of this out of order. Um, what happened after? I don't know. After Angela's mom died. Oh, she went to just... the uh, to sing at the Grammys. She won yep. for uh, best new artist, and then she mm-hmm. collapsed on stage and went into coma. Yep. And then all the uh, civil unrest was happening. Talks about yep. uh, deportments. And they report the dude who wanted to date Carol. Yeah, Ezekiel. Yes. <laughs> he released he some somehow song. records a, a music video from prison. Oh yeah, that was cool. <laughs> hey man, technology. About how much he wanted to date Carol. Oh wait. Oh yeah, that that guy that Carol used to be friends with. Yeah, the old orphanage. They grew up together. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. I, yep. To combat the uh, censorship, they uh, they recruit all of the artists they know, and that's the end of the show. They recruit all the artists. They know. Essentially, we are the world, but my yeah, they do they do this giant concert, this giant secret concert on New Year's, mm-hmm. and then we find out that Tuesday's mom, her campaign advisor is the one pulling the strings, and she fires him, and then steps out of the race. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, and then she embraces Tuesday's musical creativity. Finally. Yeah. Don't think this redeems you. You've got a lot of work to do. 24 episodes in. Oh, no, she was not just... 24 episodes in, she decides to stop being Donald Trump. <laughs> she, she she was just, uh... She was just... <laughs> Yikes. She, she was just a, just a hag of a woman. I, I, I don't know any way to put it. She was like a witch. <laughs> she was just, a witch. Yeah, like she was just so mean to like everybody, and then all of a sudden she just gets redeemed at the end. Like I don't buy uh, it. You you don't get to treat your child like that and just be redeemed in the end. <laughs> like you, you gotta yeah. you gotta work for that crap. <laughs> so, and that's when we get the title, and that's when we get the ending credits that threw Fat Man into a rage. I was mad. And we were like, oh, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> because I am weird. Just when I was thinking, huh, I'd like some more of this show, please. They were like, here, you can have more of this show. Psych! In your fucking dreams! <laughs> <laughs> you thought, well, you thought we were making more of the show. Uh-uh. Uh, nope. <laughs> Uh, Fucking hell. I mean, yeah, that sucks, but at the same time, there's no need to drag out a story beyond what you think is its conclusion. I know, but I want like, from more a, music. Yeah, yeah, I know, but the writers knew to end it there. Yeah, so. they really did. I mean, they might, I mean, who knows? They might make a sequel series at some point, or they might make a spinoff, or... Or another one in the yeah, same but, universe! Which I'd be fine with. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm... More Cowboy Bebop. Oh god, I would kill for more Cowboy Bebop. What if all the stories by this writer are the same universe? I mean, they might be. I don't know. I've only seen this in Cowboy Bebop, so I don't know. Then you'd have to throw Space Dandy in there and... Oh, wait, he's a director primarily. Uh, oh, he is? Yeah. Because he also directed another show, Famine, and I watched called fucking Kids on the Slope, mm-hmm. but he didn't write that. Gotcha. But he wrote this one. I think. And check. and he wrote Cowboy Bebop. Samurai oh, Shampoo. We'll check the guy. Yeah. Oh, and really? Samurai Shampoo, too? Yeah. Yeah. Huh, I'm bedamned. I did not know that. Script, storyboard, and director for Space Dandy. Yeah, he's director in the original theater. If our listeners haven't figured out by now, I am not the otaku in Otaku Tavern. It's it's everyone else. <laughs> he's more the tavern because <laughs> he <Yes. has> drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was the director and storyboard in episode one and two, of, one and twelve of Kids on the Slope. Oh, okay. You haven't seen that, but it's 
something. I have not. Also, he's directed sp- chief director of Space Dandy. Okay. I've heard of Space Dandy. I've never seen it. I like yeah, Space we'll Dandy. We'll get to it sometime. I only got... Like, he's a dandy guy in space. <laughs> that, that's, that's pretty much the entire thing. Yeah. Space Dandy is like a spiritual successor to Carol and Tuesday. You, but I wouldn't say that. No, spiritual co- successor to Fooly Cooly. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Because it's about the, like bringing on different people and letting them do their own thing. Right. With the characters and the set, like, anime style. Gotcha. Because I, I like a lot, but my god, it is definitely in a quite some people. I, I haven't seen that either. Again, I'm the outside perspective. You, you'd probably like it. I don't know if Batman hated it. Really? Let's redo Fooly Cooly. Can we watch the other shittier seasons, too? We're, let's redo the first season with Kruga, and then watch the other seasons as well. I mean, I'm the, I'm always down to watch Fooly Cooly. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. You thought you were getting Fooly Cooly 2? Nuh-uh. This is Fooly Cooly 1.5. <laughs> Fooly Cooly 2 is the electric <laughs> God, I love Fooly You got Cooly that, too. didn't you, Kruga? Yes, I got that. <laughs> Yes, I got that. I don't know. Do you like music? Okay, okay, I'm just gonna preface this, Kruger, with Fully Cooly is a glorified music video. Uh, Fenris. Well. D- did you just ask me <laughs> if I like music? <laughs> no, no, no. I was gonna ask you if you'd be fine watching something that's a glorified music video with oh, a yeah. very hard to spurs post- together plot. Oh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Because, God, I love Fooly Cooly. I'll, I'll give anything a watch. Fooly so. Cooly is one of my favorite fucking anime, and it's pure goddamn art. And I fucking <laughs> hate it. <laughs> You're a fucking stick in the mud. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow, that, that, that escalated quickly, huh? <laughs> I love Fooly Cooly. I like... <laughs> So should we should we finish out Carol and Tuesday before this becomes the Fooly Cooly review? Oh yeah, we were <laughs> talking about Carol and Tuesday. <laughs> that's, that, that's why I'm here. I'm just here to make sure everybody's on the same page. <laughs> that's my job. <laughs> I'm I'm here to talk about art, animation, and anime. All right, so. Before we before we end this up, everyone's favorite songs. Oh, I don't remember the names of the songs. Y- I I know you loved the openings. Oh yeah, yeah. the opening animation. Yeah, so good. that's some cool it's shit. So good. I want to see an entire anime in that style. I've seen anime close to that style. I have not. But <sighs> favorite song, crap. Um, that is a good question. Probably the one that they wrote after meeting Desmond. Oh, Lay lay It On. Is that what it was called? Lay It All On, I think. The Mm. one with the Oregon? Yes. Yeah! Yeah. The final song in their album. Yeah. I love that one. Mm -hmm. But Mother was also so good. Oh, yeah, that was also a good one. (laughs) What one is? Mother. That was... Yeah, that was one of Angela's. No. Mother was the final one. That was the collaboration song. With literally everyone. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Didn't Angela write a song about her mother, though? Or am I just, or am I mixing up two different things? Could be the one that she performed at the Grammys. Oh, that's the one I'm thinking of. Yep. Yep. Okay. But yeah, no, Mother is one of the songs I wrote. But honestly... Batman, what was your favorite song? Oh, I'm trying to think of the songs now. I watched all of them today, and I can't fucking remember <laughs> them. If I see a list, that'll help. Army of Two was fun. Army of Two was Oh, Fat Man. Yeah. I-, I learned something today that I would just like to point out. It has nothing to do with Carol and Tuesday. I apologize. Um, so... The first Gundam ever built in Iron-Blooded Orphans is Bile. Correct? Yes. Okay. So, I learned today that there is 
a they were very clever about this i'm realizing now because there's a there's an old grimoire that talks about demonology yeah from way way back in the day it was called like the last key the lesser keys of solomon or something like that yeah. and bile is the first one on the list because he was the first king of hell hmm. first gundam first king and that's why it literally translates to king <laughs> you know we talked about the uh the book of demon in the review right? no, nope i don't yeah uh we were drunk we were very well you were shut <laughs> you guys are quoting drunk is the funniest then, shit to then how come i'm the one who remembered that the cuz i just forgotten oh i uh i guess that's fair yeah shit no, i only had one drink that night I was drinking before we started. Yep. Real moment. <laughs> but Fat Man, today your favorite. Tell me your favorite fucking song. The f- of the entire show, or just by Carol and Tuesday? Uh, of the entire show, my guy. Then that's. I know which one it is. <laughs> All right, which one is it, Smarty Pants? Out of the entire show. Yeah. Okay, you know, actually, let's leave Carol and Tuesday out of it for a moment. I know exactly which one it is. Yeah. Which <laughs> one is it? It's, it, it, it's, it's the Mermaid Sisters song. Nope. <laughs> really? That is shocking to me. I could have swore you would have picked that one. Nope. <laughs> There's another song that I like more. What? My favorite song in the entire show is Bulldog Anthem. <laughs> No fucking way, dude. Bulldog and That song is the shit, dude. Dude what? raps uh, in Latin. Oh, that. Right. With, like, yeah, okay, fucking that was, opera singing. That... God damn. Yeah, that was pretty. I forgot about that. I mean, that sounds great. But I'm also, like, I, 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 I was not that out of you, dude. No? But honestly, I think you guys know which one it. Hmm. I mean, I'll, I'll tip you off. It has to do with my favorite type of shit. I don't know. You know, depressing stuff? Oh, depressing shit. Was it one of Angela's? No. There's a lot of depressing songs in there. Was it one of Desmond's? <laughs> yes. The ah. one he sings literally before he keels over. <laughs> yeah. Into his coma. Their music was fucking chilling, dude. That, that shit is mm-hmm. a fucking jam, man. <laughs> I think it's in my fucking playlists for shit. It's sandwich like, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna take a moment to just talk about my, what I listen to, because I'm, I'm not sure you know this, Kruger, but I fucking love various types of music. No, I, I, I knew that. But, like, I don't, I'm not as against as you are with, like, knowing shit about it. But it's sandwiched somewhere in between something by Frank Zappa and song not up. We're calling it off the top of my head. There's a lot of shit done by Frank Zappa. Right. Frank Zappa is amazing. Yeah, I know. Frank Zappa fucking legend. It's Batman. Mm -hmm. I fucking love Frank Zappa. It's sandwiched probably probably between fucking Frank Zappa and, um, Proto-Germanic folk metal. <laughs> that is oddly specific, but okay. Exactly. Like, I, I've never heard somebody talk about it be that specific with a metal genre. Ever in my life. <gasps> I love folk metal, dude. I love it. They happen to be singing in Proto-Germanic mm-hmm. and English. Right. So we're coming up on a minute and thirty? But yeah, we... Like, fucking... I mean, an hour and thirty? I digress. An hour and thirty. I was gonna say a minute and thirty. Did I step through a time I've discovered time (laughs) travel. Oh, and you didn't tell me? Uh, Dick. What's in this guy? All right. Story. I... I liked this one. Fucking loved it. It's weirdly heartwarming. So, I liked the story. I just think it would have been much better paced in a shorter season. What? Yeah. You want less of this? No, not I don't I just want the story to be more tight. That's all. Oh, 
You like, think it sort of wanders? Yeah, it wanders a little at times, which it, it's not distracting, but it's noticeable. <laughs> so. I mean, that makes sense. Like, yeah. I, I thought it looked fine, but I don't know yet. Yeah. Cutting back and forth between Carol and Tuesday, and all the shit going on with Tuesday's mom, cutting back to Angela and Dahlia. I <laughs> couldn't focus. Yeah, if it was just Carol and Tuesday and Angela, I think that would have been a lot better. If they would have just mm-hmm. focused on those two. And then we get all the stuff with Erdogan. Erdogan! Yeah. <sighs> Dude, poor Erdogan was one of my favorite things about the show. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? crap, we forgot to mention. I'm sorry. He loses all of his money, by the way, and then get, gets it back by the end. Yeah. His uh, Pinocchio robot... Uh, AI stole all of his money and then spent it all hanging out with girls and whatnot. <laughs> and oh, <laughs> Erdogan finally catches up to his robot. Yep. And the uh, robot feigns ignorance, pretends to die, and Erdogan fucking drop kicks his robot out of existence. <laughs> no, not drop kicks, but he like punts Pinocchio. And as he's doing mm-hmm. it, he's yelling, Get bent, Pinocchio! <laughs> <laughs> that was magical. Yes, it was. <laughs> I just witnessed a Martian DJ punt Pinocchio. <laughs> I bet you never thought you'd be saying that. <laughs> I mean, that's not the weirdest shit I've ever said. The weirdest shit I've ever said has to be... Let's order a Tesla has the same energy as fucking let's raise the xenomorph egg. <laughs> so I I was reading the fucking space station discord like out loud well, and I'm like No 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 face huggers. No no that's something I just don't need in my life. <laughs> Ordering a Tesla engine or raising a xenomorph. So story's good art was pretty good for the most part. Uh, I just thought it got a little wonky with some faces sometimes, as anime mm. does. I mean, yeah. Animation. The animation is fine. Especially those OPs. Yeah. Oh, the openings are gorgeous. I wish the entire anime was like that, but... <laughs> so, anything else you'd like to touch on before we leave? No, not particularly. I don't have time to... Open up any cans of worms? Um, no, I, I think I've said what I've needed to say. All right. Well, that's been listening to sex like What? Nothing. Wait, are you closing out the episode now? Yes. Before you yeah. do, because oh, yeah. I don't know if you, I don't know if you're planning on doing this or. But Carolyn Tuesday can be seen on Netflix. I was just about to say, yeah, douchebag. It's a Netflix story. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Netflix trail. I'm just trying to make sure we get through everything, that's all. I know. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna go play Space Station 13. We've shared our thoughts, but we'd like to hear yours as well in the comments below and on our Discord. The Night Parade has now come to an end. See you next time! Wait, what are we watching next, dude? Don't know. To be determined. Yeah. Until then, we'll catch you guys on the flip side. (laughs)